Alleluia, Christ is risen. The Lord is risen indeed. Alleluia. We'll skip down to the confession and we'll read that together. Let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed, by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of your son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us all our sins through our Lord Jesus Christ. Strengthen us in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep us in eternal life. Amen. We'll read responsively. Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia! The Lord is risen indeed. Come, let us adore him. Alleluia! I encourage you to read the Pascha Nostrum with me, um, maybe responsively at the end of each asterisk. I'll read the whole thing for you, though. Alleluia! Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed for us. Therefore, let us keep the feast, not with the old leaven, the leaven of malice and evil, but with the unleavened bread of sincerity and truth. Alleluia! Christ, being raised from the dead, will never die again. Death no longer has dominion over him. The death that he dies, he dies to sin once for all. But the life he lives, he lives to God. So also consider yourselves dead to sin and alive to God in Jesus Christ our Lord. Alleluia. Christ has been raised from the dead, the first fruits of those who have fallen asleep. For since, man by a, for since by a man came death, by a man has come also the resurrection of the dead. For as in Adam all die, so also Christ shall all be made alive. Alleluia. Alleluia, the Lord is risen indeed. Come, let us adore him. Alleluia. We'll read the psalm together. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endures forever. Give thanks to the God of gods, for his mercy endures forever. Give thanks to the Lord of lords, for his mercy endures forever. Who only does great wonders, for his mercy endures forever? Who by wisdom made the heavens, for his mercy endures forever? Who spread out the earth upon the waters, for his mercy endures forever? Who created great lights, for his mercy endures forever? The sun to rule the day, for his mercy endures forever. The moon and stars to govern the night, for his mercy endures forever. Who struck down the firstborn of Egypt, for his mercy endures forever, and brought out Israel from among them, from his, for his mercy endures forever. Who divided the Red Sea in two, for his mercy endures forever, and made Israel to pass through the midst of it, for his mercy endures forever. But swept Pharaoh and his army into the Red Sea, for his mercy endures forever. Who led his people through the wilderness, for his mercy endures forever. Who struck down great kings, for his mercy endures forever. And slew mighty kings, for his mercy endures forever. Sion, king of the Amorites, for his mercy endures forever. And Og, the king of Bashan, for his mercy endures forever and gave away their lands for an inheritance, for his mercy endures forever, an inheritance for Israel, his servant, for his mercy endures forever, who remembered us in our low estate, for his mercy endures forever, 
and delivered us from our enemies, for his mercy endures forever. Who gives food to all creatures, for his mercy endures forever, gives thanks to the God of heaven, for his mercy endures forever. We'll read the Gloria Patri together. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. I'll read you the Old Testament lesson. The Lord said to Moses, Consecrate to me all firstborn, whatever is the first to open the womb among the Israelites, of human beings and animals, is mine. When the Lord has brought you into the land of the Canaanites, as he swore to you and your ancestors, and has given it to you, you shall set apart to the Lord all that first opens the womb. All the firstborn of your livestock that are males shall be the Lord's. But every firstborn donkey you shall redeem with a sheep. If you do not redeem it, you must break its neck. Every firstborn male among your children you shall redeem. When in the future your child asks, what does this mean? You shall answer, by strength of hand the Lord brought us out of Egypt from the house of slavery. When Pharaoh stubbornly refused to let us go, the Lord killed all firstborn in the land of Egypt, from human firstborn to the firstborn of animals. Therefore I sacrifice to the Lord every male that, the, that first opens the womb, but every firstborn of my sons I redeem. It shall serve as a sign on your hand and as an emblem on your forehead that by the strength of hand the Lord brought us out of Egypt. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. We will skip down now and read the Apostles' Creed together. I believe in God, the Father, the Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. We'll pray the Lord's Prayer together. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. We'll read the suffrages responsively. Save your people, Lord, and bless your inheritance. Govern and uphold them now and always. Day by day we bless you. We praise your name forever. Lord, keep us from all sin today. Have mercy on us, Lord, have mercy. Lord, show us your love and mercy, for we put our trust in you. In you, Lord, is our hope, and we shall never hope in vain. I'll read the Collect of the Day for the Friday in Easter week. Almighty Father, who gave your only Son to die for our sins and to rise for our justification, Give us grace so to put away the leaven of malice and wickedness, that we may always serve you in pureness of living and truth. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Let's read the mission together. Lord Jesus Christ, you stretched out your arms of love on the hardwood of the cross that everyone might come within the reach of your saving embrace. So clothe us in your spirit, that we, reaching forth our hands in love, may bring those who do not know you to the knowledge and love of you. For the honor of your name. Amen. A Collect for Fridays Almighty God, whose most dear Son went not up to joy, but first he suffered pain, 
and entered not into glory before he was crucified, mercifully grant that we, walking in the way of the cross, may find it none other than the way of life and peace. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. Amen. Let us pray now for our own needs and the needs of others. For all those on the front lines, medical workers, grocery workers, for all who have died, for all who are grieving lost loved ones. For any experiencing anxiety or depression or a sense of general overwhelm. Amen. Let's pray together the prayer for young persons. God of our Father, you see your children growing up in an unsteady and confusing world. Show them that your ways give more life than the ways of the world, and that following you is better than chasing after selfish goals. Help them to take failure not as a measure of their worth, but as a chance for a new start. Give them strength to hold their faith in you and to keep alive their joy in your creation. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. We'll skip down now to the general thanksgiving, and we will read that all together. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all, for your immeasurable love in the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts, we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives by giving up ourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit, be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. We'll read the prayer of St. Chrysostom together. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication to you, and you have promised through your well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth and in the age to come, life everlasting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. Glory to God whose power working in us can do more infinitely than we can ask or imagine. Glory to him from generation to generation in the church and in Jesus Christ forever and ever. Amen. Have a wonderful day.